This song is actually harder than it sounds like, so I'm only going to do one measure to start off. So let's start with the right hand, which is actually easy. It's the left hand that is difficult. The right hand is going to start on a B flat with finger one. Now to find the B flat, just look for three black notes in a row, and it's the rightmost black note. The B flat that we want is the one that's the fourth one down from the top of the piano keyboard. So fourth one from the right, and we're going to play that with our thumb or finger number one. From there, we're going to play a G with finger number four. Okay, so here's the B flat with finger one to a G with finger four. That's a little bit of a leap. So to find that G, look for the three black notes in a row that are a little higher, and it's the white note between them. That's the leftmost white note. So B flat, G. From there we have B flat to G, and then we're going to play an F with finger three, back to the G, and back to the F. Okay, so again, B flat with finger one, G with finger four, then finger three on the F, four on the G, three on the F, and then two on the E flat. Again. And then again, we're going to go B flat and finish on the G. So with the finger numbers, one, four, three, four, three, two, one, four. And that's it for the right hand for today. One more time. All right, now let's focus on the left hand, which is quite a bit more difficult, but doable. It's only difficult because of the long leaps you have to make as you change notes. So the first note we're gonna start on, on the left hand is an E flat. To find an E flat, look for two black notes in a row and it's the rightmost one. The E flat that we want is the second one up from the bottom of the keyboard. And we're going to start on here with our pinky or finger number five. From the E flat, we're going to jump all the way up to a G with our pinky again. This is what I'm talking about with that big leap. Now, it's not the G right next to it, unfortunately, which wouldn't be so difficult. It's right here, right? So to find the G, look for three black notes again, and it's the white note that's in between, but most to the left. But we don't want this G, we want the G an octave higher. So we're gonna go from this E flat, not to this G, but to this G. So just practice making that leap a few times. E flat, G, both with the pinky. The reason we have to play the second one with the pinky is because at the same time, we're going to be playing this high E flat with finger number two. So E flat, G and E flat. Okay, so we have E flat with finger five, to G and E flat with fingers five and two. And from there, we're going to leave finger two on the E flat, but we're also going to play a B flat with finger four and a G with finger one. Okay, so we're going from G with finger five and E flat with finger two to B flat with finger four, E flat with finger two, and G with finger one. So again, from here to here. And now from the beginning of the left hand, that low E flat to G and E flat to B flat, E flat, and G. Okay, so you're gonna wanna practice speeding that up just a little. Luckily, the song is played pretty slowly, so you don't have to speed it up too much. Okay, so we have E flat, G and E flat, B flat, E flat, and G, finger five, five and two, four, two, and one. Now from there, we're going to play another E flat, but 
not too far from this one. It's just the one right to the left, right? E flat here. Okay, so it's a low E flat to G and E flat, B flat, E flat, and G to a middle E flat right over here. Okay, so again. Okay, now after this E flat, we're going to come up here to an A flat with finger five and a D with finger two. Okay, so we have. Okay, and then from here, A flat and D, we're going to keep the D where it is and we're going to play a B with finger three as well as that D with finger two and an A flat with finger one. So from here, A flat and D to B, D, and A flat. So from the beginning, so the good news is going to now repeat what we did the first time again. So after this, it's going to go back to E flat, G and E flat, B flat, E flat, and G. So let's do that whole thing. And again, to back to here. And now it's almost going to repeat what we just did. This last E flat, G and E flat, B flat, E flat, and G except it's going to go to a D, one half step below the E flat this time, instead of the E flat. So from here, the second time, it's gonna to go to a D, and then play the same thing, G and E flat, B flat, E flat, and G. So from the beginning, and then to the D. And we're going to finish by ending on a C, which is the first note of the next measure. Okay, I just want to mention that the low notes that we're playing are going to be played staccato. So it's quick, 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 quick. Now, except for this last C, will not be staccato. The very last note we play will not. All right, so let's do the whole left-hand part. Okay, now uh, let's add in the pedal, even before we do the right hand, just to practice the pedal first without the right hand. We're going to press the pedal on each of the low notes. So it's still staccato, but it's still going to sound a lot because the pedal's down. So we're going to press the pedal on the first bass note, hold it for the second one, and then release for the third. And then the pedal comes back down, hold, release. Back down, hold, release. Back down, Hold, release, back down. Okay, so let's play the whole left hand with the pedal. Down, release, down, release, down, release, down, release, down. Okay, let's do the left hand one more time with the pedal, and I'm not going to say anything this time. I'm just going to play it. Finally, it's time to put the two hands together. We're going to start with just the right hand on the B flat. And when we play the G in the right hand, the left hand is going to come in with that low E flat. Okay, and of course it's going to be staccato. But there will be pedal. So it'll still sound even though it's staccato. Okay, I'm not going to worry too much about what's staccato or not right now. I just want to get through the part. 
So B flat, G with the E flat in the left hand, and then the left hand comes up to the G and E flat while the right hand is still holding that. And then to the E, so we have. Okay. So we have. And now when we play the A flat and D, the right hand plays that F, and then to the G, when we do the B, D, and A flat. And then to the F again, when we go back to the E flat here. So let's do up to there. Okay, and then we hold this down in the right hand, and the left hand plays the G and E flat to the B flat, E flat, and G. Okay, so let's do up to there. And then when we play the D here, the right hand goes to that E flat. So we have. And then again up to here. And then when we play this B flat, E flat, and G again, the right hand goes to the B flat and then back to the G when we finish on that C in the left hand. Let's play the whole thing, just focusing on the notes, not worrying about anything else. Okay, let's do it again. This time, remember to play the left hand staccato for those low notes, and we'll add in the pedal. Pedal. And let's just do it one more time. <laughs> 